Welcome back. So here is our setup for testing the combination analog input output module using an analog output to tie into the analog input channels and we set these in the program to a value and the analog input channels should read close to or the same value. Now the wiring of the analog input in current mode or milliamp mode is different than in voltage mode. In voltage mode your input wire goes to the ter top terminal. In current mode your two terminals are jumpered together as you can just sort of see right here with this jumper bar and that is because of the way the internal circuitry is designed. If you don't have that jumper there, you are going to get all kinds of really strange readings on your, in your program on your display screen. So that is the main difference between wiring the current or milliamp inputs and the voltage inputs. Now, if you have a look at the other video I did on voltage inputs, here is my voltage input arm. And as you can tell, these are all just jumpered together so that one output in voltage mode gives the same on all of them. Get that down where you can see it there. Now, current mode, you have to have a transmitter or and in this case we're using an analog output and each of these has to be wired individually in milliamp or current mode. Otherwise on the testing it's the same as on the other video and uh, should be very simple for you to do. So there you go. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video and that's because it's 2020. We all know what's happened then. Anyhow, thanks a lot. Come back whenever you can, and uh, hopefully I can get some more videos up here in the next little bit, and uh, the channel won't look so dead. Thanks a lot, and uh, subscribe if you'd like. Bye.